Hey folks, this is Billy D.K.Y., the truth seeker that simplifies and demystifies. This is part two of the video, and we're going to start back off with some benefits of world government. Um, let me see here what we've got listed already. Okay, first of all, you're not going to need as many armies. You know, you're not going to have Russia fighting the United States. It's everybody in one... People need to start thinking globally instead of nationally. Instead of the United States fighting Russia... You ain't going to need all those armies. I mean, we're still probably going to have a, a military force, a police force to some extent to keep, you know, the people in somewhat of a check. Just like in the United States, we have a police force for the United States to make sure the people don't uprise and do certain things. And likewise, there'll be a global force. But in general, we can get rid of, we can get rid of all the big, um, you know, all the big armies. Holy, wait a second, folks. Something just happened. Okay, I'm back. Um, we can get rid of all the big armies, and so we can use those resources for better things like colonizing Mars, missions to moon, or I mean, my, my bad, colonizing the moon and missions to Mars. I mean, that's we need that for simple reason. There may come an Arm Armageddon kind of asteroid that hits the Earth, and we may need to repopulate with people who are, you know, we have colonized on the moon or people who are gone on missions to Mars. You never know. It's a good thing to be diversified. We all know that. Don't need to discuss that any further. One world currency could be a good thing too. You know, you don't have all these exchange rates and all things going on. We're all in this thing together. We have one currency. You know, you, maybe you can make a better currency where it's more fraud protection. But you're not going to have all these, you know, currency exchange rates and stuff like that. It make business easier. Make it easier to understand things from different countries. Okay. Sharing of information between countries instead of developing and spying on each other. I mean, right now, the United States develops something. Russia was developing something. Like, they are developing a nuclear weapon. They both were developing it independently, sort of spying on each other at the same time. Imagine you didn't have that scenario. Imagine we're just working together. You create a more robust whatever thing it is you're doing. You don't have to spy on each other. You get rid of spies. You know what I'm saying? To some extent, anyway. Uh... And... And each country could specialize in its in its specialty. Like J Japanese are very good at Honda, you know, making cars like Honda, Toyota, and stuff like that. So I mean, right now we in America we really don't we're not really the best at cars. I mean, it's just the way it is. So and the reason we sort of keep that industry is for war reasons because we don't want to. If there's a war, we don't want to be stuck without being having those resources. Well, if you have a nationalist, I mean, a global view of things. You don't need to hold on to those industries in the United States anymore. You can let people who are better at it in different countries do it. So that would be another uh, benefit of world government, specialization of each country and what they're best at. Okay. World government also would make it better, make it easier for uh, commerce between nations. I mean, you could have one global body that really makes the decisions. Like now, we have countries we go do business in certain countries, and the countries they know we want, they just take our stuff, and it's problematic. You know, you could have one set of global rules of how it's done, and then that's just the way it is, and it's easier to work with each other. I really can't think of all the the benefits of of uh, world government, but there would be plenty. I, I just can't think of all of them. I know they're massive. Just like I can't, you couldn't imagine what all the benefits of the internet was going to be when it first came out. So, world government's gonna be an amazing thing. Now the problem, okay, the problem with world government is again, people fighting it, people wanting to cling to the past, people wanting to cling to the Constitution. I'm not saying the Constitution doesn't have things that need to progress, that need to go into the world government plan. That, you know, we don't have use, there's useful ideas from it that need to be taken in, we can use it globally on the whole world. Likewise, we need to get rid of this utopia. And, and world government's not going to be a utopia. I'm not trying to sell it as a utopia. There's going to be problems with it. There's going to be evil people at the top. Just like any other polit political thing, there'll be evil people and there'll be good people. And it'll balance each other out. So just don't get caught up in the paradigm of good evil. It's a waste of time. Stand back and watch it. And just do what's, do what's harmonious. Actually, we are quite, quite close to world government. The only major obstacle is changing people's minds from nationalists to globalists. Folks, if you're not able to change your mind, there's people in the, throughout the history of the world who could not change their minds, who were hard-headed, who wind up perishing when times and circumstances needed to change. 
I've been reading a book on the collapse of societies by, I mean, I'll get the Jared Diamond, and basically, a lot of times societies collapse is because people are hard headed and can't change with the, the changing circumstances. They cling to old belief systems. And likewise, if in America, if we cling, in all the countries, if they cling to their old nationalist belief systems, they're going to have a hard time, and a lot of people may perish. Okay. And if, and if people from around the world cannot come to terms with the global view, there will be a world war to bring it into view, to bring it, to bring it together. Do you really want to have a world war where we lose thousands and millions, well, millions, maybe even billions of people to bring us? It's a lot easier to change our minds than it is about killing everybody. Everybody, you know, is, we don't need to nuke half this world to make this thing come into being. We just need smart people who can listen. And that's what we need. We need people to understand. And that's what this video is about. To keep a world war from happening. Okay. So let's let's go back to 9-11 and why it happened. Anything that is in the harmony with God's plan will be circumvented. When we claim this mild utopian America that, you know, we're different than all the things of the past. And we'll be hard-headed clinging to the Constitution. God's plan will not be circumvented. I mean, God's plan, yeah, correct. God's plan will not be circumvented. So, like I said, there'll be clever people to come in and knock us, knock to use that against us to get us started. One, it may, may be our own people or maybe people from outside of us. It didn't really matter. I think we've already talked about this stuff. Okay. I think we've basically covered all. I think we're going to get two videos. Basically, folks, again, world government's coming. It's, it's, it's part of God's plan. Are the progressive sustainable illusions and it's it's neither a good thing nor a bad thing. There'll be evil people do things, there'll be good people do things. There there'll always be that. Abandon that paradigm of good and evil. Hopefully this video will set in motion people getting past the paranoia of 9-11. Paranoia of world government. World government's coming. It's it's upon us. It's time to change your mind so we don't have to have this global war that's going to that's getting ready to happen if we don't do it. I truly hope you hear what, what I've said to you and you think about it. I know it's hard to believe. I know it's hard for the things I've said to you to take in. I don't know where you're at on this journey of figuring out world government, but it is coming. Think about what I'm telling you. Okay, I think I said enough. You can read, if you want to read more about this article that I've, that I've written, uh, uh, my blogs will be listed on the upper right hand corner under my name and the subscribe button. You can click more information and you'll see the blog links there. And this blog is billy-currentevents.blogspot.com and again, you just click on the link, it'll take you there without leaving this video. And I've also got two other blogs out there. The billy-path.blogspot.com is an excellent, basically, I consider it the ultimate spiritual guide. And then I've got another one explaining that one, which is it's still in work in progress. And likewise is the current event ones. And let's see what else. And on the the, the current event ones, I, when I my when my, my my profound wisdom has a when the fundamental truths that I understand point out the obvious stuff that's happening in the world of current events, then I'm gonna post stuff out there. It's not likely it'll be a lot of things, but it'll be a few things. So in a way, that's sort of nice because you're not having to read through tons of stuff to get to what you really want to know. So anyway, that's that. And uh, now go think about what you heard and then go live it. Goodbye, folks.